Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will show you how you can set up component level security. So within a component security you can actually hide or show the particular component based on the user credentials and the component something like within a click view document sheets are component, these list boxes are component, your charts are component, the book or the current selection box etc that you create uh, is a comp is an example of a component and in this video we will see how we can conditionally hide or show these different sheet based on the user credential so to set up a security let's go into the edit script and uh, edit script will go into the hidden script where we usually set up the security and i will enter the password for my hidden script and here is the section access and section application that I have already created. So this section access is already being created in my previous videos uh, where we are specifying what kind of access we are giving to these different kind of users with their respective password and couple of other configuration based on the user credential. So for these different user admin, user 1, user 2, the similar column I have created over here which is then uh, help us in creating a join between these two tables and I have extended this table to create to contain sheet 1 and sheet 2 so for this example as I mentioned earlier we will be conditionally showing or hiding the sheets and what we are specifying over here with the help of 1 and 0 that for admin we want to show both the sheets so we are setting the flag as 1 to show the sheet for user 1 we want to hide the sheet one when the user is logging in into the application but when uh, but sheet two is visible or should be visible to user one and vice versa in this case of uh, user two where sheet one is uh, shown however the sheet two is hidden for user two so i have already made this setting after this you you have to reload this that's what i have already done so I will just click cancel for now and uh, after this you need to completely close the application. It will ask you to save it and you need to save the application. Sometimes it happens that it will ask you to save it with a different name and that is actually a good thing so that uh, you don't uh, uh, you know mess up with the original application and basically creating a separate one for the additional security you have given. So let's close click view and here I will open the script for which I have uh, in which I have the settings so let's enter the user one credential so user one, password was user one one two three and as it was set up in the security script when is only able to see the sheet two let's close this only the sheet one was uh, built so let's go to user two one two three sorry that was the password user two user two one two three all right that's how you have it let's quickly come showing both the sheets so script let's open this username admin admin one two three and here is the sheet for admin now with before closing this video we need to do a small setting so that uh, Sheets are able to understand or any particular component is able to understand uh, what settings you have done and based on the configuration you will do within this component properties uh, it will actually going to act. So let's go into the sheet 1 properties and here in the general tab we have within the show sheet section we have enabled this conditional option and given that sheet 1 flag should be created what it is telling that only show the sheet one when the value of this flag is greater than zero that means one that we have specified earlier in the script so based on this setting uh, sheet is getting hidden or visible and then sheet one flag is further related to user credential which is connected to the security access table from which it is fetching up the credential information and then seeing whether the user is having this flag one uh, sheet one flag enabled uh, or set as one or zero 
I think uh, all of your configuration is working and sheet are getting visible or hidden based. So similar for sheet two, we have given the information that x should be greater than zero, and then based on user credential, uh, it is getting visible or hidden. So that's pretty much all uh, I wanted to show uh, in this video. So apart from sheets, you can also set up these settings for list boxes, say for example. But you will not find that box here in the general tab, and you may need to uh, see it for different. So for this, let's say uh, for list box, you can find this within the layout, and I believe even for charts etc., you can find this show section within the uh, layout tab. So here you can specify what condition you are planning to give, and then you can hide any of the component or show any of the based on the user credential so that we're going to help us in showing the right component to the right user so that's pretty much all i wanted to discuss in this video and i'll meet you in the new video the new topic